Hello everybody, this is Serpent. Welcome back to another episode in, uh, not Sluraria, <laughs> in iCraft, that's it. I'm currently situated on top of my, uh, tower complex, <laughs> and you might notice when I zoom out here that stuff has changed a little bit. <laughs> I have actually managed to put detail on them, so, yeah, a little bit surprising. <laughs> It took a while. Um, I was I was surprised at how long it took, because I kept falling down over and over again. <laughs> and also, I tried very hard not to do any math because that would take a while to actually do. Because then you'd have to you'd have to put your feet in every corner of all those lines. Anyway, tried to try not to do that, so it took some guessing to uh, guess and checking. But yeah, it's uh, it's done now. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to take. Well, I already have taken a couple screenshots, and I don't know. I, I like it. <laughs> so, I did decide to do details a little bit differently on some of the towers than others. You may have noticed that. Every other tower is um, is done so that the lines that go from corner to corner go from corner to corner, <laughs> as opposed to forming a diamond, as you can see that one does. It alternates. I, I just thought that might be nice to give it some... Uh, uh, some, you know, whatever. <laughs> Variability. Ah, can't get past this thing. <laughs> anyway, I have also started, and this is what we're going to be finishing for the first part of this episode, I've also started putting together this little uh, feathering. That, that part here is something we did on uh, a different episode, I think, but over here is new. And the problem that I ran into is, once again, we are out of concrete powder. So I have to go find some of that. On the bright side, though, I, I'm i pretty sure we only need about, oh, I don't know, 10 stacks of concrete powder, and then we'll never have to do any of that ever again. <laughs> Which will be very nice, indeed. Uh, unfortunately, there are about 10 stacks of not concrete powder. <laughs> concrete not powder which is a little bit disappointing because obviously that means that I cannot uh, I can I cannot turn that back to, to powder but I've wasted stuff so a little bit unfortunate there but yeah that's probably because of all the windows <laughs> that I dug out of the uh, out of the sides of those towers perhaps I should have done that before I uh, put all the put all the towers together anyway I'm going to head off to the ocean and also the desert because I need gravel and sand respectively. <laughs> so yeah, I'm out of both this time, well, pretty much out of both. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's, that's gonna happen and I will be back in just a few minutes. Well, a couple seconds for you, but you know, 10 minutes or something for me. All right, all right. I have a, uh, <laughs> I have a plan. My goal for this season is to end it with a parrot. <laughs> Come with me. You will be the, you will be the one who sur who survives. <laughs> Come on, eat. All right. He was, uh, he was, un, understandably reluctant. I think. <laughs> Let's try and find another one. Do uh, get some, uh, get some redundancy built into the system. Ah, excellent. It's the, uh, they're the, they're the same colors. This way I can even, I can even kill one of them and not tell you guys. You'll never know. <laughs> ah, that's only already trained. Excellent. And we'll get one colorful one just because, you know, variety. <laughs> nice. And now I don't have any seeds clogging up my inventory either. Perfect, uh, <laughs> perfect event. All right, let's, uh, let's head back now. I got what I hope will be enough, um, enough stuff for the rest of the season. Uh, you can see it in my inventory. There are also two stacks in my, two stacks of sand in my ender pearl shul shulker box, which I hadn't realized existed, but it, it, it's okay anyway. I, I wasn't about to, um, need only two stacks. <laughs> I need way more than that, so needed to go anyway. But that's a good thing to find. <laughs> Hopefully the parrots will be able to keep up. And hopefully they won't die in Chimera's um, evil laboratory volcano uh, death pit. <laughs> I notice a certain... Oh, okay. I was wondering where that guy was. Alright. Well then, let's see if we can get these uh, 
these little tweetykins through the uh, <laughs> through the portal without their uh, without their feathers being sprayed throughout the nether. <laughs> Come on. All right, I have two of them on my shoulder. That's good. You can sit, and I will shove you manually through the portal. <laughs> this may take a while. Uh, I, I suppose it probably would have been a good idea to just keep two, maybe? Because, after all, the uh, you can keep two of them on your shoulder and they'll come with you. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I will, uh, I will venture back. Head home. Follow me, little buddy. Good, good. <laughs> and hopefully we will still have three parrots by the time I return. Darn it, I think I've lost the one on the ground. <laughs> Alright, I will keep you down here in storage, <laughs> and you can come up with me, and inevitably die. <laughs> but we'll still have one down here, it'll be great. <laughs> we can come down and look at it every now and then. <laughs> Are you going to land on my shoulder, or do I have to walk over and get you? And there we go, we've got a bunch of concrete. <laughs> Uh, all right. That took a little longer than I expected, probably because of the carrot, uh, the parrot, <laughs> uh, detour. Not the carrot detour. <laughs> there were no carrots involved. Parrots like seeds, not carrots. Although actually, parrots do like parrots. <laughs> parrots do like carrots. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I will fill in some more of this uh, ground because what I hadn't shown you in the previous couple of clips or whatever was that I do also have a couple places to fill uh, fill in with the stuff. For example, over here, I want to fill all of this back uh, so that you can walk around and see a little bit of concrete wherever you go. Um, border the whole thing <laughs> with concrete powder. So yeah, I will, uh, I will get on that. Hopefully we... actually this is probably going to take many more stacks than what I have. Uh, <laughs> uh. I am never going to try and cover the entire ground around my base with anything ever again. <laughs> That's all I could say. See, there goes a stack. <laughs> Here goes another stack. Anyway, I will, uh, I will get going, and I will see when I run out, inevitably. Well, in the interests of time, I have decided, also by the way, I'm pretty much out of concrete. <laughs> uh, I've, in, I've decided that this area right here is going to be the end of this fire river, or rather the start of the fire river. Um, it's going to sort of be the bubbling pit of doom that's spewing forth the river. <laughs> and so I'm covering this part up right now. Basically, I've, I've just done what I was planning on doing anyway, except I've moved a little uh, closer, <laughs> because I'm a little bit lazy, and more uh, more importantly, the, se the season is ending so soon that I need to cut corners where I can. And this seemed a fairly decent place to do so. I should also figure out something to do with this bridge. I was going to connect it up until... Uh, up until up to the top of that, and it's probably easy enough that I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to rule that out just yet. I might end up doing it in the future, but currently I'm not planning on doing that right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that might happen off camera at some point, or it might happen on camera at some point, but it might not happen at all. <laughs> and if that's the case, I'll just put a viewing platform up there, like half over there and over there. <laughs> That's that's the way to do it. You you uh you you block off the the loose ends with uh, just little viewing platforms everywhere. Anyway, I uh, once again need to go off to the the desert and the, the ocean and work up some more concrete powder. Uh, in in reality though, it, it is annoying. I have I have spent a long time gathering this stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure that out off camera, get that off camera, and uh, see you on the other side of the cut. No! Why? Aww, the poor little thing. <laughs> it's 
stupid creepers. Ah. These things are a lot harder to keep alive than I would have thought. <laughs> okay then, I have a, uh, I have a border. <laughs> it's all bordered. At least everything that I want to be bordered. Remember we discussed this part over here in a separate episode. Actually, I will, I will smooth it out a little though. <laughs> oh. Eh, go away. Go away. <laughs> go away, I say. Alright, that'll that'll do for now. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, I'll smooth that out. But it's uh it's other than that it's all done. Um see. Nice little little fade out over here. I would have liked to do something a little bit more impressive, but you know, time constraints. <laughs> anyway, I have uh I have pretty much done everything I want to do at this point. Um, at least in this episode. And coming to think of it, <laughs> um, this episode is going to have to be quite short uh, in uh, in comparison to other ones because I am currently out of time. <laughs> it's supposed to go up tomorrow. Actually, it was supposed to go up today, um, but yeah, it didn't. <laughs> so it'll go up tomorrow. Anyway, um, after uh, or before before we end. Uh, I'm going to try and clean up a couple of these chests, leave some items to despawn. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get rid of most of them and put them in there. But yeah, I want to clean up the last couple of chests that are littering the gorgeous, uh, <laughs> I guess, not really landscape and not really gorgeous, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the, um, the fiery deathscape, if you will. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up uh, with these chests, or start and finish up with the chests, ideally. <laughs> and then I will see you uh, when this is no longer here. All right. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's all the chests. Cle Ignore that. <laughs> that's all the chests cleared out. <laughs> uh huh. There's no, uh, no more chest there, no more chest there, although I guess there already wasn't, and no more chests in the other place as well. And it does look more, more clean, more professional <laughs> than it used to. Um, I'm still a little disappointed, um, in general, just with the, uh, the lack of finishedness that, um, it seems to be <laughs> to me. Um, but... In reality, it is actually pretty, uh, pretty well done, pretty finished, um, and it looks pretty cool. If you, uh, yeah, the, the, the problem, the problem I, I think I had with this base in general, reflection time, <laughs> is just the ground is so hard to, ter to, to change into a whole different set of blocks. <laughs> I didn't even do anything fancy there, and that's... That's so much work right there, and it doesn't really look it. <laughs> anyway, uh, other than that though, I'm pretty happy with the rest of it. The bridge is nice, the river is nice, the house is nice, that thing's nice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it does look better now without the chests, and I will either put a piece of concrete powder over that or cover over it. Uh, I mean, uh, move it. <laughs> um, probably won't cover over it. That would be a little lazy. But yeah, that's uh, that's probably going to do it for today. Um, next episode is either going to be making the fiery pit of doom over there and probably a couple other fiery bits. Um, so probably playing with fire. <laughs> um, or we will just be doing a tour of the base, which will happen anyway. Um, but it's just a question of whether or not that next episode will happen. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for today, though. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.